Hey guys, this is Michael from BuddyBoss.com and in this video I'm going to teach you how to configure WordPress. So in the last video I showed you how to install WordPress. Now we're going to take a fresh WordPress install and configure it. So this is 2013, the default, the current default WordPress theme. And uh, if I click here, I can go into the dashboard. And here we are in the WordPress admin, the first time. Very exciting. So <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do is well, I'll give you a little walkthrough for those of you who aren't familiar with, with really what's going on in WordPress. You've got your dashboard page, which kind of explains to you uh, a lot of quick things that are happening on the site, how many posts and pages you have, comments, and you can grab these and move them around and reorder them. And throughout the whole WordPress admin, you can click screen options and uncheck things that uh, you don't want to see. And that's sort of a convention that happens everywhere. And then in updates, you can see any updates to WordPress or to any plugins you have. Currently, we haven't installed any plugins, so there are no updates available yet. And then posts is where you create blog posts. Media is where you manage all your uploads. Pages is where you create pages. And here you can manage comments to your blog posts. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go into settings. And this is where we really configure it. So, for example, if I want people to be able to log in to create accounts on the site, I would check anyone can register. I'm not going to do that just yet. Time zone. It's giving me a default time zone here. I'm in Chicago, so I'm going to find Chicago. America and Chicago. And everything else here looks good to me, so I'm going to save. Okay. Writing settings. Um, everything in here is okay for now. Now we're in reading settings. So in reading settings, here we have search engine visibility this used to be under a section called privacy uh, but they put it in here and basically what this does is if this is checked discourage search engines it means that google will not search will not index your site and it will not show up in google and if you uncheck this then it allows google and bing and yahoo to search your site and have it show up in search engines i'm going to keep that checked for now because this is a dummy site and here we've got our front page displays so if i go back to the site You'll see right now that the front page is displaying blog posts. We've only got one, Hello World, the default blog post that WordPress gives us. So I'm going to go ahead. No, I want my site to be set up differently. I want my front page to be a static content page, and I want to have a page dedicated to blogs. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set that up if that's how you want it. So we're going to go to Pages, Add New. And I'm going to have one that I'm going to call Home. This is the home page. Publish that. And I'm going to create a new one called blog. And here's our blog. Okay, so if I go to all pages, now we can see all the different pages. And again, like I showed you, you can click screen options and uncheck something if you don't want to see it. Okay, and then we're going to go back to settings. Uh, reading, I'm going to select home as my home page and blog as my blog page and save that. Okay, so let's go back to the home page. And here we go. That's the home page. If I click blog, it shows an archive of all my blog posts, just one right now. Now, here, let's see what else is going on. So now I've got blog as the first, home as the second, sample as the third. I don't really like that. So I want to set up a custom navigation. So I'm going to go to Appearance, Menus, and I'm going to create a menu. So they already gave me a name, Menu 1. I'm going to call it something else. I'll call it Primary Menu. And let's see what we've got here. Home, I'm going to make Home first, Sample Page second, and Blog last. And Create that. Okay, that saved that. And then if I go into Manage Locations, I can select that to go into the navigation menu. And the theme creates these, these menu sections. So let's refresh that. There we go. Home is the first page, and sample page, second, and then blog. So let's go back and we'll just continue on. So discussion. You can set up discussion settings. Um, I like to make it so that Often, um, 
An administrator must approve the comment, for example, and you're less likely to get spam. And then you can select your avatar here. So let's save that. And then media, you can select the default sizes for your different uploads. And then permalinks, this is kind of important, is the default is gonna set the permalinks to basically use the post ID. So if I go back to the front and click blog, you can see what it does here. Page ID equals six. This is the considered the sixth page. Um, that's no good. This looks ugly. Users aren't going to understand it, and it's really bad for search engines because it doesn't have any keywords in here. So I'm going to change this to post name and click Save Changes. And if I come back and refresh the page, now you can see it titles the page blog. If I open up the blog posts, the titles at the blog posts, and now I've got what are called pretty permalinks. And that's all I'm going to go into for now.